Spotify is great. It lets me listen to what I want on the fly, podcasts for my commute, rap music for the gym, and study playlists for when I'm working, all at my fingertips. But what Spotify isn't is a way for me to access and track new music I want to listen to or store great music I've listened to in my second brain. I was at my parents last week and my dad has this old record collection that he must have been collecting for 40, 50 years and it's so cool because he can go into this collection and pull out an album and say I remember when I was 25 when I bought this and what it meant to me at the time. He can then put it on and sort of relive those experiences and think about what the words and the lyrics meant to him back then. And I couldn't help but think, aren't we perhaps as a generation missing out by not having these really great record collections? And that really inspired me to take some time, no doubt on Notion, and create this digital music system which helps me solve three problems. First, it helps me to track new music that I'm interested in and really just see all the different artists that I want to check out at a certain point. It also helps me to rate and review albums that I've listened to and store them in this sort of digital record collection, sort of similar to this big physical one that my dad has. And finally, and I think most importantly, it also lets me capture really insightful lyrics that stand out to me so I can then put them in my second brain and access them later. For those that are new to the channel, my name's Tom. I make videos on how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like your bag, bang subscribe and you're gonna be notified when I release new weekly videos. In this video, we're gonna talk through my holistic system for listening to music using Notion. First looking at the music discovery pipeline, then exploring the digital record collection, and finally going through the lyrical second brain. I'm gonna be talking this through step by step and I'm gonna leave templates as well. So let's have a look. Apparently, statistically speaking, when you're 33, you stop listening to new music. Now, this isn't just like you hit 33 and it stops. Obviously, it's a steady decline from your teenage years. But I just found this statistic really, really sad because there's so much great new music out there. And it'd really be a shame if like, we got to only a third of the way through our lives and then decided, right, that's me. I'm done with new music. I'm just going to double down on what I already know. I think one of the main reasons why people stop listening to new music is simply complacency. And let me just give you an example that maybe you can resonate with. So let's imagine you're out of the pub with your mate and he recommends you a new artist or band that you'd like to check out. You say, oh yeah, yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely take a listen, they sound great. And when you get home, you open up Spotify and you know you just wanna relax with some music and you see right in front of you that there's, I don't know, Take Care by Drake, some album that you've already listened to a hundred times and you just play that and you forget all about the music that your friend recommended. The issue here is that we don't have a system that keeps us accountable to listening to new music which means that we're always just going to pick the old classics and that's where I think that Notion can really come into its own to help us create a system that's going to make listening to new music really easy. So all I do is create a board and in the board there's three columns. There's to listen to, listening and listened. And if someone gives me a recommendation of new music, it just goes in the to listen to column and then I just pull it through each of the stages. Whenever I'm adding uh, a new album to listen to, I'm always going to put the artist, the album name and maybe a genre because you know sometimes if I'm cooking I might be in the mood for jazz, if I'm working out I might be more in the mood for hip hop so it's really helpful just to put that genre in there as well. You can also put in a picture of the album um, but that comes a bit more important in the later stages. Finally once I've listened to a piece of music I also like to give it a rating. I do find though that these ratings are definitely not set in stone. I tend to find they're really good albums for some reason. I might not like them at first but then over time they'll grow on me and that's fine you can just alter that as you keep listening to it. So the music discovery pipeline feeds directly into my digital record collection. So all I do to access my record collection is switch from the board view to the gallery view, and then I have a filter on it that says listened. And this is then gonna show me all of the different albums that I've listened to over time. And just really like a cool place to see everything, see the album art, you know, front and center, and just be able to access and get a bit of inspiration when I wanna to listen to an old classic. 
Now I know some purists out there think that there's nothing like having a physical record collection and maybe I'd agree, but I think for the convenience this comes pretty close. And one of the great things about Notion as well is because you have that share feature, you can just send this uh, out to anyone that you like. So if a friend is asking for some recommendations for music, I can just send them my digital record collection. They can have a browse through and hopefully find something that they might like. Okay, so this is the point of the video where we're going to get a bit nerdy and go beyond just a normal sort of record collection into using music and capturing it into your second brain. So a lot of videos that I see on YouTube, they're sort of touting the benefits of storing information from podcasts and from books and from blog articles. But I think that it's really missing a trick not to include music in this as well. Some of the sort of rap music, especially that I listen to from the likes of Earl Sweatshirt or Frank Ocean, it's really introspective and there's so many incredible lyrics in there that it's just great to have a way to access them all. I mean, I've actually formed the basis of YouTube videos, blog articles and newsletters on the back of just a lyric. Recently, I took a verse from one of JME's new songs about how you should sort of craft your own way in life and that everyone's going to have a different route to success and actually use that as the basis for writing a newsletter. And by the way, if you want access to my newsletter, I'm going to pin it in the comments down below. It shares sort of lots of productivity tips. If you like this video, I can assure you you're going to like the newsletter as well. The way I store these lyrics is just by opening up the page of the album and then copy and pasting the verse or whatever it is from Genius into the page itself. And then if I'm ever feeling uninspired, I can just flip through my old albums, see which ones have lyrics associated with them and you know maybe get some inspiration. I also then further categorise these into my sort of more robust second brain, but I'll make a whole other video on that later, so bang subscribe if that's something that interests you. So thanks a lot for sticking around. We've gone through how you can listen to music using Notion by first setting up a music discovery pipeline, then using the gallery view to access your digital record collection, before finally exploring how you can use the pages feature to store notes in creating a lyrical second brain. If you like that video, I'm gonna leave a very similar one here about how I do the same system with books. And thanks a lot for sticking around. Enjoy the rest of your day.